president of the Central Maine Regional Alliance here in New York. Uh, the, the club was founded in approximately 2006 um, in a way to uh, promote general aviation and also give an opportunity for pilots in the area to have an opportunity to fly that couldn't afford their own airplane. Uh, the club currently owns and flies a Cessna 172 and we have our own game here at the airport. And we're always looking for members, so if you're interested, uh, give us a call. There's, there's a number of folks here at the airport that know how to get of us. And we also have a Facebook page. So if you look for us, uh, Central Maine Regional Flying Club. Uh, the hangar that we're currently using this morning for breakfast is part of the field days here in our club. It's owned by Ken Morgan, and he was kind enough to uh, let us use the Hanger, and you can see a couple of the airplanes and new stores that you know, and some of the activities going on without breakfast. Um, breakfast this morning is part of the activities here at the airport that will be going on all day. Uh, we were kind of shaking the weather this morning, but it looks like it's going to hold up for at least part of the day. Hopefully, we'll get all the activities in. Our currently, airplane rides are being put on. single piloted aircraft in the main forest service. We don't fly with an extra pilot. Um, we'll use this normally um, when we get a call for a wildfire we'll come in and use our bucket that we have here in the back. I'll unload it in a field, hook the bucket on, do a little bit of testing, find the nearest source of water to the fire and uh, commence an initial attack while other rangers and firefighters are heading towards the fire.
with the few old trucks coming to the helicopter that shortens our turnaround time considerably and allows us to have more time on the fire and less time traveling to get fuel. We have equipment in the back. That's my survival equipment. On the other side we keep a net and a long line so that if we need to haul fire gear into a location or fire gear out of a location we can do external loads with the helicopter. How many hours can you fly? This helicopter has enough gas for about two and a half hours of flight. What was your recent uh, pilot helping? Where were you last on the uh, fire? The last fire I was on was in Hollowell. It was just a small two acre or one acre fire that I actually found on my way to the air show last weekend. Uh, recently there's the fire in Columbia Falls. We had two helicopters working that. Um, that one ended up being about 33 acres, I believe, before they contained it. We don't have much gas. No. No, you're not gonna? Okay. Is that you? Are you gonna sit down, Sam? Are you gonna get it in the front? Watch your head. <laughs> After he says how. After she says how. Get in front. Get in front. I'm going. Sit in the seat now. Sit in the seat. She's like, I'm going to sit down. Are you smiling? Wait, say hi. On the other side. I'm going to touch it down by that last hanger down there. Hi, I'm Tim Whittemore at the Zoo of Hawaiian PA. Um, I'm from Skahidi, Maine, and I'm 16. This is my sister, okay. Allie Obert. Say her name. Allie Obert. How old are you? You're five, and yeah. what are you doing? From Skahidi, Maine? Yeah. <laughs> Hi, my name is Dylan Whittemore. We're here at the... Dylan. <laughs> Here at the North Rock Airport. My name, my age is 14, and I'm from Skowhegan. <laughs> Hi, this is Betty and Betty from the Congre North Rock Congregational Church, and we are here at the Hawaiian, and we are cooking up hot dogs, hot dogs with bacon, sausage. Hamburgers, we've got drinks and chips. So come on out and have a good day. And some of our information about the church is we try to have a fundraiser at least once, usually twice a month. Um, proceeds go to help people in the community that need help and also to run the church. Anything else? And I guess that's it. The next upcoming um, Fundraiser is going to be September 9th, right? Yep. It's a flea market and bake sale at the church, which is 36 River Road yep. in Norwich Walk. And in October, I believe it's October 14th, we're trying for a buck of the draw auction. So come on out and help support the community.
And the pilots are looking to uh, participate in the pilot competition. Uh, shot field takeoff and landing and spot landing. Stop over and see Rob Gardner. He's at the uh, white pickup there in the midfield in the grass. And you can sign up with him and he'll go over the uh, rules with you. Cream is free. Any donations, uh, proceeds from any donations, will uh, benefit the Norridgewock Public Library. And we're just setting up now. Hot dogs, hot dogs with bacon, sausage, sweet and mild. I'm Richard LaBelle, town manager of Norridgewock, and the Darlings ice cream truck has just arrived at the airport, and they are offering free ice cream by donation. And all the donations, 100% of the proceeds, will go to the Norwich Public Libraries. Come back. Hi, this is Smokey the Bear. Uh, actually, Smokey Bear. This is the 73rd year since being found in New, in New Mexico. Uh, as a cub burned, to, uh, burned on a tree. He's been the uh, a symbol of preventing forest fires ever since then. And like I said, he's been doing it for 73 years. Uh, we bring this around to uh, events like this to uh, promote fire prevention. And just to, uh, it gives the kids a good thing to uh, look at. And, uh, Can you give him a hug, Harley? Give him a hug. Smokey and oh. maybe see what he represents. Give him a hug, Willie. <laughs> Right, Anything else? <laughs> Harley. That was pitiful. Harley, come over here. Jimmy, I want to get something over here. Off the stand. Hi, my name is Steve Ireland. I'm the captain of the North Rock Fire Department. Beside me is firefighter Tanisha Corsi. She's our actual first firefighter, first female firefighter on North Rock Fires. It's history. History of North Rock Fire. Started in actually November of 1911. It started out with the North Rock Fighting Association. It's built up ever since. We have 20 members, one fire department, we have three members, two
And you're going to have a plane ride? We're going to have a plane okay. ride, yes. You don't have a plane ride, buddy? I'm excited. Have you been up before? Well, it's good you. No? no, first time? Yeah. First time. Yep, yeah. you take good care. We love our first time riders. Yeah, we'll see you soon. We're sitting in front. Your daddy's going to sit in front. the Furbish family.
It's raining. This is Jesse Gum Crandall calling, talking to you from Narjwalk Airport. We're about ready to do the candy drop. Morgan, Morgan Aviation is uh, taking off and getting his plane out there right now to uh, go drop the candy. Now we need the kids out here, and here they come over here to my right side. Can you switch it, Ben? And she's panning. Look at that crowd come. They're looking good. They're looking hungry. I don't think anybody's going to take any candy away from them. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> They're uh, trying to get the candy in before the, uh, before the rain hits. And that could be... Uh, <laughs> it's going to be tight. It's going to be really tight. That's all I can tell you. Passes and then they come back by and drop them on. Drop the candy, drop the candy. You see they're lining up, it's a pretty good size event. As you can see, the crowd is getting anxious. I'm not sure if we'll be able to hold them back or not when the candy comes. Hope he comes by soon. <laughs> Where is that plane? Where is that candy? Don't see him yet. There he is. Okay, he's turning around up there. Look at that. You can see the light. You can see the light. He's coming at us. Will he drop the candy this time? That is the question. He is coming in. He is coming in. Oh boy. Looks like it's going to be a good time. He's coming by. You guys can see the crowd. Find it. You missed it by a little bit, but I bet they'll find it. Yeah. <laughs> I bet they will. Look at the crowd. It's better than a bunch of people looking for Easter eggs, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I should be able to get you guys up. We won't go very far. But... I think that was a successful drop. I think the kids are having a good time out there. I hope that uh, next year you guys will all come back and enjoy us here in Blue Days. We're flying in at the Norwich Walk Airport. Uh, tomorrow is a parade downtown and other events are going on. Uh, we thank you all for coming and uh, again, thank you very much for coming out and enjoying. Hi, this is Randy Fair from 92 Moose and Renee Nelson. From 92 Moose and B98.5. Very proud to be part of this event this year. Thank you so much.
so much to the community for making this happen because it's truly a community event. Absolutely. We're very impressed by the turnout this year here at the airport, first year being uh, here or back here, I guess, for, for a number of years. And just great to see uh, you know, a down-home kind of community event with uh, families coming out, uh, different people coming out, community organizations being here and all of that. Just a fabulous thing. And thank you so much, Town of Norwich Rock, for making that moose and B98 a part of this.